Good morning. Grey sky day. It has been raining. It is actually starting to feel a little bit like we've moved to the west coast or something. Over the last few months we have had a lot of rain and we got another reasonable amount last night. I haven't checked the rain gauge but I can see it's got a reasonable amount of water in it. The raised beds are great and the ones around the other side with the strawberries in uh, it's, it's going to be good. However, there is an issue with <clears throat> I think probably it's more of an issue because of all the compost we put in. I'll show you in this bed and then we'll go around the other side. So the issue is that I might know this might look like we've had tiny moles or something, but we don't have moles. But this is what the blackbirds are doing. They are moving quite large amounts of real estate out of the raised beds and over the side in some cases, as you can see along here and down here and in this bed as well. It's also not doing a lot for a number of the seedlings that Kathy has planted. But we will now go around the other side and I'll show you what the problem is around there. It always was the plan to eventually cover these strawberries because otherwise the birds are going to get into the actual fruit. But the problem I'm having, and I have already remediated it to a large extent, is that the blackbirds are getting in and they're actually undermining the plants. You can see in this corner they've really turfed a whole lot of dirt out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the netting over the beds today, provided the rain stays away. So I've already started on this in that I've got some short lengths of bamboo that I have put down inside here. And then this is 19mm irrigation tube that I have made three hoops with. And then these I'm going to put up the top here like so and then hang the netting over and drape it down the sides. How I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to drill a hole through this way so as not to weaken the pipe too much. In fact two holes and I realize that may weaken the pipe but I think it'll be okay and then the PVC will sit here and I will leave the cable tie, zip tie, whatever you want to call it. It will, I'll leave a tail of it out here so that when I want to bring the netting, when I want to access in here, I will have either a bit of bamboo or something in the bottom of the netting and then I'll be able to bring it up and just hook it over that, the end of that uh, zip tie. So that's the plan. Let's see how we go. To drill the holes in the irrigation tube, I used a fluted bit, as that was going to work better than a standard drill bit. A fluted bit has a sharp point in the centre and then two blades, or pointy bits if you like, at the extremity of the flutes. This means that the centre part penetrates the tubing and holds the bit where you want it, and as it progresses into the tube, the two outer blades cut a nice neat hole in the tubing. There was an unexpected complication with this. You will have noticed that with the first hole I had trouble pushing the drill through the other side of the tubing. When I pulled the bit out I realized that what was happening was that the round piece of plastic from the outer wall of the tubing was staying on the end of the bit and therefore stopping the bit from cutting through the other side. Once I removed it, the drill bit progressed as expected. This meant that when I drilled each hole, I had to drill the outer side, pull the drill bit back, 
then the circle of plastic would drop off in the inside of the tube and then it would happily cut through to the, the other side. Just to clarify about the Vandor Blackbird title of the video, we do have a reasonable selection of native and imported bird species that come and go in the garden, and we enjoy having them, for the most part. Like most things, you can have too much of a good thing. Other times, it isn't so much that there are too many of them, just that they are getting into things that we don't want them to. This is the case with the blackbirds and the strawberry patch. As I said, I always plan to cover the strawberries because when they start to fruit, it won't just be the blackbird that will be a problem. In fact, at that point, the blackbirds probably aren't a problem. Blackbirds aren't really vandals in that they do have a purpose to what they are doing. It's just that when you come out to tend something you are trying to grow, and it has weathered a beating from some creature. The immediate thoughts towards that creature aren't always kind. The original people that were called Vandals sacked everything they came to in Italy around the time of the end of the Roman Empire. They were accused of mindless and wanton destruction. The blackbirds destructive ways are a byproduct of their foraging for food. It isn't their fault that I have provided a banquet for them in the compost with strawberry plants on the top of it. that is going to work. I will need to fine tune it a bit uh, and find some thinner material to run along here in the netting. Not exactly sure what I'm going to use. The bamboo is going to be too hard to thread through because it has all the little nodgly bits on it where the growth has been. I mean I could go along and grind them all off but I think I might be better to use a piece of dowel or a piece of a uh, rigid plastic tube or something like that. Anyway, I will find something and then we'll complete that job and keep the blackbirds and other things out of there. Here is the finished article and what I ended up using was some 15mm electrical conduit because I knew I had a length of that up in the rafters of the garage and so it's four meters long, these beds are a bit over two meters long, so I cut that in half. If I need it for some electrical at some point, then I can just join it back together again if I need to. But that will do in the meantime. And the other thing that I have done today is I have added a board along here to this bed. The reason is that when I originally put these boards in and the path went in, they follow the contour of the land. Um, same as up here, I needed to add more to the top of that bed last year. 
and the reason I've needed to do that here is because although it's not very much it is a problem when you come to watering because the water all tends to run off down here and down the path now that I have done that I can put some more dirt or compost in there depending on what we're going to plant in there because some things don't like lots of compost and uh, that bed's good to go and the other thing I did yesterday was because our last lot of peas are finished I planted some peas in here a week or so ago and so I needed to put some netting up for them to climb up so I have done that and also I needed to put the pole in for the courgette to grow up and this year I have put this top board a bit higher because last year I kept sconning my head on it I probably still will because it's still not really high uh, I could actually raise it slightly higher and I may end up doing that because it's only a matter of taking out these four screws the one that's holding the pole and, and lifting it uh, just might save my head so the courgette is in there and one of these is a chili and one is a capsicum uh, which is which uh, this one's the capsicum always pays to label things but wait there's more some of you will remember from last year that I had the apple cucumber growing here and it gave very good results and so what I have done is I have put the apple cucumber in here again this year and put this bit of trellis back in so that I can climb it over it and it then falls down on this side enough for today I think the tomatoes are certainly healthy uh, I need to this one looks like I need to take out some of the laterals we'll come back to that bye for now